ready. Oh, there. That's going. Make sure that bit's clean. All right. I'm Katana the Lightning Cat. Your viewer. I don't know who the fuck you are. I don't remember how many years ago. Mm. Take off my little homemade headband. That way I can get all my hair out of my face. I don't remember how many years ago I told some fellows in Shelby County of Alabama's what is it? It's a federal prisoner in transit holding facility that lost their contract, yet they still operate it as such, even though it's labeled as the Shelby County Jail. I told some fellows in there who were uh, in for misdemeanor shit that should never have been charges brought against them, let alone led to their confinement there for five fucking years until the statute of limitations is this close to running out because of how corrupt Judge Bostick is and how corrupt the what's his name the uh, the local fucking state attorney Lee and Hall are <clears throat> I don't remember which one is which one's an assistant I guess I don't fucking know Lee Hall, Judge Bostick, basically everyone on the fucking circuit district over here is fucking corrupt as shit. So I told fellows in there who have been uh, basically illegally and wrongfully imprisoned and incarcerated and charged absurd amounts of fucking bail. Seriously, these people aren't a fucking flight risk and they never were misdemeanor bullshit seriously and one dude for exercising his unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness by having sex with his wife in a position that wasn't missionary position that's how fucking shitty that the state law is here in Alabama so I told these people who have been fucked over by the bullshit corrupt system and the bitches in charge of it, hey, you'll know when the time comes to speak the fuck up. And you know what? Just in case you guys are sitting there trying to find me on YouTube, I'll make this one fucking obvious. Now is the time to have already spoken up. Or speak up right fucking now. You, the fellow who was uh, charged with sodomy just for having sex with your wife and pursuing your unalienable fucking right to the pursuit of happiness by having sex in any position you fucking wanted. Yeah, the, it's severely fucked how corrupt the entire system is. It's not just a matter of black lives matter or all lives matter. That's a smokescreen to deter you from the truth that your cops, your judges, your lawyers, your attorneys, the entire fucking judiciary and legal and legislative system is corrupt to its fucking core. So if you're going off on Black Lives Matter or some sort of racist, philanthropologically inclined bullshit, congratulations, you've bought into the Confusopoly. Now, for some other people, I've given advice while I was in that fucking jail and when I did time in prison for uh, defending my own fucking life, which is my unalienable fucking right to my own fucking life. Yeah, Judge Bostick, you're going to die at my feet. I promise you that. And I'm not going to have fuck to do with it except watching you die and laughing at your fucking ass. Lee and Hall... You, you two are going to fucking die at my feet, and I'm going to laugh. Same fucking deal. I'm not going to do anything illegal. I'm just going to fucking laugh. And Thornburg, especially your fat fucking pig ass, you little bitch. I'm going to laugh as you die at my feet. For the lies you told. 
everyone involved in the shit against me and the shit against all these other innocent people I've met in the judiciary system, in the pipeline of school to prison. I'm gonna enjoy watching all of you fucking die. All of you corrupt motherfuckers, I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. I'm gonna enjoy watching the people who you've shit and pissed on who are less tolerant, less patient, and less fucking peaceful than I am kill you. I'm gonna enjoy watching the show. That's what's gonna happen for me. I'm not gonna do anything illegal. Not by your pathetic corrupt fucking law. And even if I do, no one is gonna say shit against me. I shit you fucking not. So for those of you who I told you'll know when the time to speak up is, here's a less than pleasant reminder. It's time to speak the fuck up, dumbass! It's time to tell everyone else on social media, everywhere, blanket your story. Especially you little fellow who I met who had a scar across his chest and down his back from when he was operated on, had open heart surgery when he was fucking an infant and his girlfriend lied about him and got him a fucking life fucking sentence basically because of how corrupt the judges and fucking attorneys and shit are down here and yes I know they're not just that corrupt here they're corrupt everywhere 99.9% of every judge, lawyer, attorney, 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 bureaucrat, politician, all of them, just 99.9% .9 of them are corrupt shit. And like I've said in previous video, I've only met two worth giving a fuck about locally. Out of the entire state of Alabama, I've only met two that are worth giving a fuck about. And I've been as far as Oklahoma. I've been Tennessee, Florida. I can't remember any of the other places I've been right now, but I've been to a few places. And I've only met two that were worth giving a fuck about. Out of at least four different states that I've been in, that's pathetic odds. That's pathetic. That's, that's not even laughable. It's rage inducing how pathetic it is. And it's not just me and these innocent people who are being accused of bullshit and given 20 year sentences that's the way the fuckers in Alabama work every motherfucking individual I spoke with in the Shelby County lockup had a 20 year sentence thrown at their face every fucking one of them traffic violations misdemeanor drug charges which is your unalienable right to do whatever the fuck you want with your body that's treason high treason to violate people's unalienable right to live their fucking lives how they want it's very aggravating rage inducing and infuriating to talk about this, even to think about it. I start thinking of how I want to crucify, peel off the skin layer by layer, and then douse these motherfuckers in diesel fuel because I know it'll burn the fucking cuts that I'm making on them before I light them on fire. That's the shit I want to do to these corrupt pieces of fucking scum. But I'm not because I'm better than they are. I am better than they are. But they're gonna die at my feet. They're gonna die begging for forgiveness that will never be given. 
and that's far worse to them than doing something illegal. To hurt someone emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually, that is far worse than any violation of the pathetic human-made law. Just ask a few people who have been hurt emotionally, mentally, spiritually, psychologically. They'll tell you how much deeper that cut, that wound goes. How long it lasts. How impossible it is for them to heal it. And that's far worse than breaking the pathetically corrupt American infidel slave law. Again, I'm reminding you, <clears throat> for those of you who are stuck in the system, who might be looking for a YouTube video to help you out, now is the time, and has been the time for the last month and a half, to speak the fuck up and let everyone see how corrupt and tyrannical and fucking pathetic that the American system truly is. I've known this for a minimum of 20 years. I've just waited patiently. That's the difference between me and them. I waited patiently for the perfect opportunity to fuck them over with their own legal system. And now is that perfect opportunity now is the time to speak up and show everyone on this planet just how fucking pathetically corrupt the American way of life has always been since it was created. Always. Now's the time to speak the fuck up. I wish I could fucking remember some of these guys' names. I had a fucking pamphlet that I purchased while I was in that damn jail. It's actually a quad max holding facility, so it's literally a prison. It's a secure housing unit. A giant fucking... Uh, what's the word for it? Secure housing unit, shoe, um, the hole... There's other names for it. It's basically 24-7 lockdown. No fucking time on the yard. No exercise. That's basically what the Shelby County lockup is. It's not a jail. In a jail, you get to walk around. You get to socialize. In that Shelby County holding facility, you're locked down 24-7. I wish I could remember some of these guys' names that I spoke with, and I talked to, and I gave some advice. That At the time I gave that advice, it was perfectly relevant and perfectly usable. May not be anymore, especially that advice I gave a lot of people about the stock market and creating their own account so that they could not get caught because like half the people I ran into in there were in for money problems they needed money they didn't uh, have a job they had tried and tried literally I spoke with these people I looked them dead in the eye and talked to them got to know them half the people I met they couldn't get a fucking job even seven years ago when this shit went down for me seven fucking years ago before the so-called coronavirus. These people couldn't get a fucking job, even back then. So they had to resort to doing things that weren't legal because the system wouldn't give them a fucking opportunity or a chance, despite claiming that they're Christians and they, they believe in second chances. Yet they crucified these innocent people just because of one fucking mistake and they didn't give them a second chance or an opportunity. So I fucking hate the system and I fucking hate religion because you bitch and you whine about giving a second opportunity or chance but you never fucking do. 
So like I said, now's the time to speak the fuck up and share your story. You recognize my face, not my teeth, but you'll recognize my face, my tone of voice. You'll recognize me. If you got out of that shithole, if you managed to get back home, or hell, maybe this will be displayed on the news. Who the fuck knows? But now's the time to speak the fuck up. For the people I've met and the people who I haven't met in the rest of the United States of America who have been oppressed, who have been illegally convicted of things they never fucking did by the corrupt, totalitarian tyrant of a system called the American way of life. It's time to start speaking up and showing the entire planet how fucking corrupt America has been since it was created by rich fucking slave owning land owning bitches you wonder why black lives matter is running around toppling fucking statues of your founding fathers America well it's because you're fucking tyrant terrorist scumbags and as far as me this physical form I inhabit is Apache Blackfoot and Cherokee and I'm of royal Cherokee lineage. I don't have fuck all that is supposed to be mine. I have nothing. My people have been sitting in reservations. I say my people. I say all the tribals who were on this land before you white men and the black people who were brought here against your will and your descendants. I say all the tribes are my people and we've been waiting for nearly 300 fucking years for an apology patiently peacefully maybe maybe we should use the power of our spirit and make a big fucking storm to destroy all of you that's how strong we would all be together. Maybe we should do that to show you what war against a spiritually inclined people is like. You think I'm fucking joking? I've made it rain before locally myself. I've made the weather worse, I've made the weather better. But I've never done so in malice against anyone. Only because I felt we needed some extra rain. Maybe every last fucking member of every last fucking tribe should get together and summon a massive storm to wipe you fucking corrupt scum off the face of the earth. There's no American law against it. You can't track us all down and torment and punish us for what we've done because it's not against your law. Maybe we should do that and show you what us going to war holistically truly looks like. Because we've waited for 300 fucking years. And I just round it off because it's nearly been that long. For an apology. For when you raped our women. For when you took our land from us. From when you took our children from us. From when you slaughtered our family members. And that's just the tip of that iceberg, America. So all you bitches whining Black Lives Matter. All you bitches whining racial supremacy. White power. Fuck all of you. You're here illegally on my ancestral land. And those of you who are thinking you're lucky to the white man that the black people only want justice instead of revenge, well, every last one of you are lucky. You're blessed and you're cursed by the patience and peacefulness of every tribe in existence who has lived on this land before you were even born.
So just think about that, everyone. Just think about the bullshit you're doing. Just think about how pissed off it makes the tribes who have been oppressed for over 200 and some odd years waiting for an apology. Only an apology. We never demanded that our land be given back to us and that you go back to the fucking shithole you crawled out of. We simply waited peacefully and patiently. But now I am tired of waiting. My patience wears thin with the American corruption. I will have my ancestral lands back. I will have my people's land back. And if we have to go to war over it, just to save this planet from your corruption, from how pathetically disgusting you all are, then look to the sky. You'll see it darken. You'll see the clouds as black as coal, as black as pitch, as black as night without stars or moon. And you'll feel the wind pushing you down. And you'll feel strikes of lightning ripping your flesh apart. That's what war against us is really like. That's why we've waited patiently and peacefully for hundreds of years to see if you Americans are worth existing. And the others are still waiting. I'm not so patient anymore. America I sent to your Supreme Court a letter twice already telling them how corrupt and fucked they really are. Supreme Court fuckwits, now you see clearly through all the news that's going on, you see clearly that I'm right about what I said to you in those letters. Like I said the second time around, you're only delaying your inevitable destruction. You're only making it worse. Now at the time I sent the first one, before the riots broke out, I could have helped to delay the inevitable up to a maximum of five years. Could have allowed everyone time to prepare. Could have softened the blow. Now, I don't give a fuck about that because I can't change it. Now, I'm preparing for the next reiteration. The next reincarnation. The next cycle. The human species is going extinct. Christians, turn to your book of revelation and that thing you call the Bible. Read it. Tell me those prophecies aren't happening right in front of you. Neighbor turning against neighbor. Various diseases and incurable afflictions. The earth's labor pains of earthquakes. Tornadoes, hurricanes, storms, volcanoes becoming active. Tell me that's not in the book of Revelation. Or one of the books right next to it. I don't remember which. I don't fucking care at this point. It's at the end of your so-called Bible. Tell me that's not what's going on right now. You may not want to face the truth. You may want to just go back to sleep. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically. 
that's not going to help you. You had your warnings. You didn't fucking listen. And I'll be glad to explain to you why I only want the video game industry and so many phases of production that lead up to the finished product. It's quite simply because it is the best all if null. All if null is a mathematic term. It basically means a small version of infinity. But in reality, it's just a smaller version of all of existence. Because only mathematically is infinity actually existing. Now, with all of no, as it applies to society holistically, <clears throat> it's quite simply that when you go from society globally, and you look at the art community, I think Extra Credits did a video on this. The artistic community and its progression through classical era, post-classical era, and onwards into modern, no, pre-modern, modern, post-modern, post neo-something. I forgot all the terminology used. There was several. But it goes through this cycle. It goes, and it goes, and it goes, and it goes. And it goes faster than society globally. You know, with the digital online spaces, it goes even faster than the artistic community, than in the artistic community. And in video games, it's rampantly faster. And it goes through in a matter of weeks what an entire culture goes through in a matter of decades. It is the ultimate all if null currently available. I use the word ultimate loosely in the context of currently available. Just for your understanding. It's not clickbait. So it shows clearly how society develops and grows. And right now, you can see clearly that the jackasses in charge of it don't give a fuck about the people who are exercising their unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness. They're violating it, egregiously so. That's the all if null for global society right now. Your rights, your unalienable rights, are being violated. That's high treason. I don't care how you look at it. The truth of it is the truth of it. And it's not changing because your opinion exists. Your opinion doesn't mean shit compared to the truth. I'm very, very pissed off. Very distraught emotionally, mentally, and psychologically over all this bullshit that has gone on. While before it had even happened, over 15 years ago, I attempted to fix the problem before it ever arose. I sent letters to Microsoft because even back then I understood that the video game industry was an all if null of society holistically. I tried to fix this problem before it ever happened. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure and I tried to apply pounds of cure no, not cure. Prevention. 
<clears throat> and now it's the inverse. I'm just throwing in little dusty grams of cure because I understand that the vast majority isn't going to give a fuck about what I'm saying. Everyone's so stuck in their ways, so adamant, so arrogant, so ignorant, so naive, so stupid, so uneducated, so moronic, that they're not going to care. So there's nothing else to say right now. This is where I'm at right now. Oh, and by the way, this doesn't reflect me in the future or me in the past. This reflects me as I'm recording this. That's it. It's just a snapshot of who, what, and how I feel I am right now and my perception of things around me. And if you think on it for a minute, or longer than a minute, however longer it takes you, I don't know, I don't care. It's not my problem to deal with how long it takes you to think. That's your business to attend to. You'll conclude clearly that the vast majority of the things I'm saying are true, have been true, for quite some time. Now, I've already set the spiritual energy in motion to nudge the people who I've sent those letters to the Supreme Court. I've already set the spiritual energy in motion to nudge them to comply with what I'm giving them as an ultimatum. And I'm fully aware that it's an ultimatum. I'm fully aware that what I'm telling them is uh, give me the monopoly of this particular industry. I'm fully aware of it. But unlike all of America, I'm not corrupt. I'm not greedy. I'm not a social justice warrior or a snowflake bitch. Quite the opposite. I've been the one attacked by these bitches. I could go on for hours with those stories, but I'm not going to right now as... Who the fuck has time to sit down and listen to it all at once? So until next time, fuck off.